Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be trying out Revolution Beauty's Matte Bomb Liquid Lipsticks. They came out with 12 shades within this collection. It is running for $7, so it's really affordable. It's supposed to be, girl, get this, it's supposed to be creamy matte finish. It's supposed to be long-lasting, smudge-proof, vegan, cruelty-free. And let me tell you, I picked up, well, no, I didn't pick up, okay? Revolution Beauty sent it to me, so thank you so much, Revolution Beauty. But basically, I have all 12 shades. We're going to be trying them all all out today and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm really excited we're gonna see what is Dofa applicator like what is a formula like how does it feel on our lips what is the undertones like is it actually worth it don't get it twisted guys because even though they send it to me in PR I'm still gonna give you an honest review so I hope you all enjoy today's video everything of course will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and let's jump on in and try these on now let's start off with the packaging in case you haven't seen the packaging to these matte lip bombs and this is basically it so it is thick and chunky, you guys. I was really surprised on how they look just because I feel like when I think of a gloss or a lip product, I think about, you know, putting the back of my pocket in my jeans. And when I think about putting this in my jeans and like in my pocket, if I don't want to carry a purse or something, I feel like this sitting down, it's definitely going to be flying out. It's going to feel a little uncomfortable. So that's the only thing. The packaging is frosty. So the downside to it that I can think of right now is that you're not really able to see which lip shade you're grabbing. So that is the only downside. But I do love the packaging. It does look really nice. I do love the size of it for what we're paying for for those seven dollars The first shade we're gonna go ahead and try on and this one is called pink bunny love the name so far of this lip shade It is so so cute very memorable. Let me show you the lip swatch really quickly. It is the prettiest soft baby pink I really really love it. I personally don't wear baby pink shades like this one But definitely I'm really excited to test this out. I feel like I'll end up falling in love with it I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip color I feel like you can easily warm it up a little bit with a nude lip liner if you really wanted to just to give it a little bit more depth But I personally really love it so far the consistency of this feels really creamy It does take a second for it to dry down I'll let you know once I apply it on my lips But this is so far from what I've noticed watching it in the back of my hand as for the dofa applicator It is a dofa applicator. Absolutely love it. It's really large and in charge girl So that's the only thing but it does pick up enough product and you can definitely lay Layer this on which I personally love that's why I love a kind of more creamy matte lip product because you can definitely layer it on and take your time when you're applying on a lip color like this as a for a scent let me tell you it smells so delicious it smells like a yummy cupcake and I absolutely love that type of scent it's a little like you can pick it up but it's not too strong but in the same sense I like that sense so I'm really happy about it <laughs> that's the only thing but I personally really really like it so let's jump on in and try on pink bunny shade this one is called nude allure and as you can tell by the title of this lip shade it is a nude <laughs> and I'm not sure if you're gonna see it swatched on on the back of my hand you might be able to see the sheen it's just because it looks kind of close to the same color of my skin tone but it is a really pretty nude lip shade it has a slight pinky undertone to it I'll do my best to give you an up-close swatch of how it looks swatch on the back of my hand but so far I really love how pigmented it is really really thick the consistency of this it feels really more moisturizing it doesn't feel drying so far and it does take you know a good moment for it to dry down I love nude lip colors like this I just feel like you can never go wrong with a nude lip shade it goes with everything you can wear it day or night and you can definitely pair a lip color like this with a kind of cool toned nude lip liner kind of like a chocolate brown or a type of gray lip liner if you really want to give it a little bit more depth or you can also pair it with like a more pinky toned lip liner more of a nude lip shade if you really wanted to if you wanted to kind of pair it pair by pair. So let's go ahead and try it on Nude Alert. For our third lip shade, this one is called Satin Chocolate. And as you can imagine, this is a deep reddish brown lip shade. I've already swatched it in the back of my hand, but I'm not sure how it's going to look on camera. But in person, it looks like it has like a deep kind of like berry undertone to it, which I personally love. I love lip shades like this. I feel like this is perfect for the fall winter season. If you want to, you know, make a statement and be really festive. I absolutely love lip colors like this. I actually 
don't wear them often, but I prefer this than a red lip, to be really honest. And I really, really love it. So far, if I swatch it back in my hand, it doesn't look too patchy. I can definitely see myself see this being really easy for you to layer on. That's what I'm trying to say. And I personally really love it. It hasn't dried down very quickly. It does feel a little tacky by so far by, you know, touching in the back of my hand after swatching it. So that is the only thing it lightly transfers. But we will see once we apply it on. I'll let you guys know. So let's jump on in and try on satin chocolate. to our fourth lip shade this is called fancy pink and as you can imagine it is a pink lip color absolutely love the neutral undertone to this i'm really excited to apply this on i feel like i'm gonna really love the undertone and just like it on my skin complexion it just because it has a neutral subtleness to it it's not too pink has kind of like a rosy undertone i feel and i just feel like you can wear this day or night it's a perfect everyday type of lip color and i feel like you can never go wrong with lip shades like this so let's dive on in and try on fancy pink For our fifth lip shade, this one is called Clueless Fuchsia, and this is described on their website as a medium mauve, and let me show you. It definitely is a pretty mauve very pigmented. I absolutely love it. It's definitely different than the last lip color, but somewhat similar at the same time, just the undertones are a little different, but I feel like same thing. This is a perfect everyday type of lip shade. You can definitely wear this during the day or even at night. You can mix it up with a more pigmented chocolate brown nude lip liner if you really wanted to, to do an ombre effect or find a matching lip liner that is somewhat similar to this undertone of this liquid matte lipstick. So let's jump on in and try on Clueless Fuchsia. to our next lip shade this one is called deep wine and when you think of that you're thinking you know like a deep reddish undertone a burgundy undertone let me tell you girl it is not it almost looks like a black it's described on their website hold up let me pick up my phone because i almost slipped my mind i think it says deep purple yes it says on the website deep purple i don't know how it's gonna look on camera but in person it looks like a black matte lipstick. Love how creamy it is. No patchiness whatsoever that glided on effortlessly. If this is perfect for Halloween or if you're going to go to a festival of some sort or if you just want to apply on a lip color that's really pigmented that looks like this, this would be perfect for you. I so far love this scent. Love how creamy it is and how pigmented it is for, for such a deep, rich lip color like this one. So let's dive on in and try on Deep Wine. Delicate Brown is described on their website as a wearable chocolate shade. And let me tell you, I really, really love it. I feel like it has a slight neutral undertone to it that will work many, with many skin complexions. I love how creamy it is. I feel like I have a lip shades that look really similar to this, so I might end up really liking it on. But so far, I really love the undertone. I feel like this will work for day or night. This is perfect for the fall winter season. It's not too rich that you can wear it during the day, but at the same time, you can definitely layer this on with a chocolate brown lip liner or more of a cool tone nude lip liner so i hope you all enjoy let's dive on in and try on delicate brown coral sheer this is obviously by the title of this lip shade is a corally very bright vibrant if you ask me lip shade i love it i don't think i'll like it on me personally but I love how pretty it is. It's very unique. I feel like this is perfect for the for the summer, spring time just because of how vibrant it is. It's definitely a lip color to make a statement. I love how happy this lip shade is. So far, I didn't swatch on with any patchiness or anything like that. It was it glided on effortlessly. That's what I'm trying to say. And I really, really like it. It's definitely a mood for sure. described on their website as a burgundy plum lip shade and I couldn't agree more look how beautiful that is I feel like this is a perfect 
fall winter lip shade it is so so beautiful I don't really wear lip shades like this but I feel like I'm gonna try to get out of my comfort zone and wear more lip colors like this one and just because it is so pretty it's like a perfect plum lip color I feel like this will complement many skin complexions. You can definitely, again, play around with your lip liners and get really creative to dress it up or tame it down, just depending on what you personally like on for you. So, so far, I really like you guys. It's gliding on really, really creamy. The consistency is really, feels really moisturizing. I'm not having too much issues removing the swatches on the back of my hand with my makeup removing wipe. Once it dries down for, for a good minute, it's, I definitely find myself kind of struggling at removing the lip swatch. So that is the only thing. Nude Magnet described on their website, made for all skin tones. And I absolutely love it. It's really, really pretty. This is a little bit more pigmented. You're definitely, I feel like you're gonna see it swatch on the back of my hand. And I personally love it. It definitely has a pinky undertone. I feel like you can never go wrong with lip shades like this. It's not too pigmented in pink but it still give you a little blush of color on your lips, which I personally really like. I feel like this is just, you know, really, really pretty. It definitely has a neutral undertone. red as you can imagine is a beautiful red i'm so surprised of the undertone to it i'm really excited to just try this out it's been a hot minute since i've worn a red lip like this one so i'm really excited to see how it looks on i feel like you can never go wrong with a lip shade like this i think everyone should have a red lip color in their collection you can wear this for a date night for the holidays for new year's christmas whenever you feel like you need just a little a little pep in your step when you're gonna go out with your friends. So. And as you can imagine by the title of this lip shade as well, it has a nude undertone to it. And you guys know here on my channel, I love a nude lip. I feel like you can never go wrong with a nude lip. You can wear it day or night. You can play around with lip liners and get really creative. And I absolutely love it. I'm not sure if you're going to see it swatched in the back of my hand just because of the undertone to it. I feel like it will blend in with my skin complexion. But personally, so far, I really like the undertone. finished trying on all 12 lip shades let me tell you my poor lips feel really really dry from doing the swatches but here we go let's start off with the price point I like the price point this is what I love about about Revolution Beauty their price points are so affordable everyone can pick up a lip shade and try them out for themselves the packaging you know, is a little thick and chunky not very convenient if you want to put it in the back pocket of your jeans but it's different I love the matte finish but in a sense I'm not a huge fan of it just because you're not able to really see what lip shade you're grabbing and how it's going to look on unless you're familiar with obviously the lip color overall i love the doe applicator but to be honest i'm not really sure of how this will work for everyone just because if you have small lips i would think this might be really hard to apply on i do find the doe applicator to be nice and spongy love the cupcake vanilla cake scent that these lip colors have love the formula it's really creamy it's very pigmented with most of the lip colors i only had to apply on one swatch it dried really quickly it didn't feel over drying i do feel like it lightly you can lightly see the fine lines on my lips but overall for seven dollars i feel like the formula isn't too bad the only lip color is that for some reason i found myself having difficulty layering on it is a deep wine which i actually agree it does have like a purpley undertone which i noticed once i applied it on and my lips and was removing the lip color and it's satin chocolate the current lip color that i'm currently wearing right now and the other one a coral sheer i just found myself layering these on and having to clean out the edges and that is the only thing obviously we know when it comes to more vibrant or very rich lip colors it can be a little tricky you're gonna have to clean out the edges maybe use a little lip liner so that is the only thing as for the other lip shade that i'm not a huge fan of i just wasn't didn't really like the undertone on me it is nude allure i will say with satin chocolate i did go in many many layers layering this on a little bit of product goes a long way it does take a minute for it to dry so once you apply it on do not press your lips together 
I mean, you can press your lips together at first for most of the shades, but when it comes to really pigmented lip shades, don't press your lips together because then you'll find yourself layering and layering this on and they'll become a big mess, a big sticky mess. This is what happened for me when I came to Satin Chocolate. I, that's the lip color that I'm currently wearing right now. I applied it and applied it on because I was trying to line up my lips and have an even application. And then I wasn't drying down quickly enough, so I had to pull out a little fan. I was here for like about 20 minutes blow drying my lips and trying not to press my lips together. Once I thought they were dry, no, they were not. I was drinking water, and then I removed the lip color from my lips a little bit. So that's the only thing. So you're definitely, keep in mind that if you're using these, the ones that are more pigmented and you're laying it on, you know, it's gonna take a while for them to dry down. Now that it is dry though, <laughs> I will say that it feels really powdery and soft. Did enhance the lines on my lips, slightly and I, that's something that I expect when it comes to a seven dollar lip product like this one the formula is not you know the best but it will definitely you know get the job done so that is the only thing overall the other lip shades absolutely love and with one swatch it was so pigmented it was really easy to dry down I didn't have a sticky kind of mess on my lips. Um, I really wish they would have came out with a few more nudes that didn't have a pink undertone to them. I wish it would have came out with new lip shades that had more of a warm or yellow undertone to it to give a little bit more variety just because not everyone is a fan of a nude pinky type of lip color. But this is basically it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, comment it down below. Ask away. I am always here to help. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much.